Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Michael Rougier, as you've just heard, from, um, the co-founder and CEO of Airponics, and I'm going to teach you, uh, tell you about technology to feed the world. I'm sure you've all come across alarming headlines like this. By just 2030, we will need 35% more food, 40% more water, and 50% more energy. That is a huge challenge, and currently there are no solutions. Uh, we, however, have developed a system for growers and farmers to grow high-quality staple food crops almost anywhere in the world with a minimum risk, minimum input, such as only 5% water, no harmful chemicals, and maximum yields. We, and it's far more effective system than current agriculture, aeroponics, and hydroponics. It is a soilless, smart system. As you can see in the left-hand um, photo, the roots are exposed, and we feed them with a nutrient-rich fog. And in the middle, you'll see the variety of crops that we've grown, wheat along the bottom, four varieties of potatoes, sweet potatoes at the top, grapevines and tomatoes. Our real um, novelty about the system is that we use a fog. That's a crucial difference to current aeroponics, which just uses mists and sprays. And our USP is to create the fog cheaply. We use a, an off-the-shelf industrial inkjet printhead. It's actually been 20 years in the making, and we've now got it fully patented. Um, and we can generate from that, just a small unit, 160 million droplets per second. We've also got um, proposals for low-cost growth chambers that can be installed on a large scale, even up mountaintops, rocky hillsides, etc. They give a protected environment for the crops, and also with a smart feedback and control system, we can give the plants exactly what they need when they need it, basically cr creating the nirvana of plant happiness. We believe that we've overcome all the, we will overcome all the challenges and limitations of current agricultural systems, and our systems are climate change and severe weather resilient. It was, our system was first proven with a major grower, and by scaling up from the plants, we could show that we could grow 500 um, new potatoes per year, per acre, um, compared to the, the conventional, which is only 11 tons. And that 11 tons takes about 160 litres of fossil fuels, about half of that for tractors, ploughing and spraying, and the other half on just to make the chemicals to spray. We don't need either of those. Here you can see, I like the photo on the right, it's for potatoes. You can see them there on the stolons, and we could pick them at whatever size we want. Um, and the crop below, you can see, we pick that every week from that one chamber. So we had continuous harvesting of potatoes. The, our approach is now focused on demonstrating and doing a cost-benefit analysis and working closely with major growers, who we've, we've got as partners, and then traction from early adopters, um, and it seems we're getting a lot of pull from desert type of environments, the Middle East, Australia, Africa, and then we want to go to the climate-stressed um, places with a plug-and-play system and helping to solve you know, that 2.1 billion people who are affected by drought. The financials look very, very good. Big profits for farmers and growers, ourselves, um, and significant social impacts wherever we go. And we can do things that nobody else can do. We have a very good, formidable team. Myself, personally, I was with Shell International for over 24 years, and in the department of Game Changer, title was Game Changer, I took a number of really disruptive, revolutionary ideas and took them to proof of concept. We've got John Pruer, who invented aeroponics 40 years ago, with the world's first patents granted and first commercial application, and developed the system for Mars NASA mission. Tony Renton was with BP and a lot of startups, and Nick Saunders, who's from our investor. So in the final slide, I'd like to thank very much Centrica Innovations for the half a million pounds of seed funding, and I know they're here today, so thank you again. Um, and we are now seeking a, another half a million for product development to further develop the products that we've got, grant match funding, 
to accelerate commercialization and to set up beach, beachheads internationally. Thank you very much. <laughs>